Business credit card myths. Get millions versus zero or lunch money, credit cards, and Kool-Aid. So, we're going to go over the fallacies of business credit. What everybody's doing wrong. What's being sold and told as being correct when it doesn't work. And that will cover UCC1s, the zombie debt, business credit cards, business trade lines, too much debt, and CPN business credit. So, first off, the UCC1, Universal Commercial Credit Code, is what a lender puts on a business file as a lien, and it goes on your corporation. There's two types of liens. There's asset liens, and there's blank, blanket mortgage liens. Blankets go on everything, cover the business, and if they find anything wrong with it, it can jump into the personal realm. An asset can be anything that's movable, collateral, vehicles, office equipment, all, all kinds of stuff like that, particular assets. Um, now, lenders don't take these off, just like People say, well, my inquiry is going to fall off. My bankruptcy is going to fall off after seven years. No, they don't. Nothing falls off. Same with the UCCs. Nothing falls off unless you make it come off. But if you were to do this on like your no PG bank statement loans, they put a UCC1 on your corporation when you're doing this no PG scenario and it goes on there. But when you do this, you're going to want to make sure ahead of time that they will and that they do have a UCC3, which is the termination paper that you will see at the Secretary of State level. And you will see the UCC1 show up on your corporation at the Secretary of State. So you want to know this ahead of time if they're going to produce a UCC3 for you to see and have and for it to automatically then fall off because you'll have the paperwork and you'll be able to be in control versus going through all this nightmare trying to get it off. And if you are getting bank statement loans, every one of them is going to put a UCC1 on your corporation. And this is where the term credit stacking originated from, from the business realm and the personal realm because years back, when inquiries would go on your credit report, they would take like three to four days to show up. And credit stacking, the true definition, before all these idiots got involved in saying what it is and what it really isn't, they don't even know what the definition is, and they make it their key term, and they don't even know what the heck it is, where it came from, because they're so stupid, and weren't even born back when this was going into effect, is that credit stacking is you're lining up all these corporations, and it's really called pyramiding debt, and you're going to pile on all the loans before they show up. But now, personal credit and business credit all goes into your file like inquiries show up immediately. So the term credit stacking is really a misconception. But anyhow, nobody knows that. But just for useless information about credit stacking from other people, it's incorrect. So the point is, when you're doing that, you want to make sure that if you are lining things up, that you're going to be able to have it come off automatically and that you're using a person like me that can actually strategically get you the money and get the amount of money you want by doing things you want. No PG credit realm is terrible. It starts out at 33%, 35% interest only per day on your bank account. You can pancake them and do four or five of them at a time if you get it done really quickly. But if your cash flow drops one day, they all get into default and then you're into breaking the terms of service and then it can become personal and breaks your no PG and goes to your house, your car, freezes your bank account, everything. And it all falls apart. But some people, some of you business owners are desperate. You want help on this? I can get the lowest of the worst. Yes, we can do that. I can get you that money if you really want to go that route. Also, the uh, UCC1, it's a language, and it's actually the same language that everybody uses for the sovereign citizen uh, terminology about uh, maritime laws and land of the land laws and how you can become a sovereign citizen, and they use it and misinterpret it with the business information. All the information sounds great. 
you can go to court with this UCC stuff and the judges because they're corrupt and it's a corporation of America ran by England and prove that you have all the legal rights and all this stuff of this UCC one filing all the codes but since it's a corrupt organization it doesn't matter and that really won't work so as far as business uh, business trade lines people say well we can add these UCC ones to your business trade lines and corporations build up your credit uh, that is really a misconception because all these fake trade lines and things like that are not ever going to add up to building up your corporate credit because the underwriters on the business level on the business loans already know the tricks of the game and they already go through the internet and they check all these things out and they see all the businesses and all the corporations that have been sold sold and dissolved and all this stuff uh and they know who sells them so even when it does show up or you got the ucc1 showing up it's the same thing so there you know so it's really a waste of money if you're going to go that route and people are selling you this ucc1 concept so i would throw that idea out the door and save your time and money next is the big misconception of zombie debt you can go buy your de zombie debt. These debts that people owe money on from debt settlement companies and collection companies. And you could buy it and turn it into personal credit and make it positive. No, you don't. I've had collection companies before. And I've had employees that have gone there and worked in all these places. And I have them in debt settlement companies. So I make fifty to 60000 bucks a month. And in no situation, I've even bought debt before, you buy debt on a large portfolio scale, and you can literally buy pennies on the dollar. The zombie debt is definition on the internet says, well, it's debt that's expired past seven years, and it's zombie debt's not worthless. Well, technically, you're not buying worthless debt. You would buy it prior to that, but when it becomes past seven years, it is past the statute of limitations, and you cannot collect on it. But these people want to try and get your money and say this and that and try and make a positive trade line. No, that does not work. Even if you buy the debt, and I've bought it before, tons and tons of collections accounts, after seven years, you have to have your trick salesman contact the people, and by law, they get them, um, well, put it this way i don't do it anymore okay i don't really believe in it and it's kind of really ridiculous collecting on people's debt but anyways technically is if they contact the person and they owe the money and they contact them and say hey well you can make a 50 cent payment or a dollar payment after the seven years that re initiates the law to where the seven years starts over again so then you have the right to collect on them so if you bought all these debts at pennies on the dollar and these people are well, just say, I bought into this. I was going to set all this up. And then when I got to the bottom line of the set up the com company, I never did. I just sold it because I don't want to do this kind of crap. But anyhow, debt collectors do this all the time. So you get the, get the statute of limitation to bypass because they actually send a dollar. And then it restarts another seven years so you can collect on it. So technically, pennies on a dollar, you could get on, you know, 10000 15000 or more, whatever you get them to pay or sell out a court for like you know five ten fifteen twenty thousand whatever it is or make the payments debt settlement companies are even worse the same way basically they starve out all your creditors and they talk you into paying them so many thousand dollars a month and if you're in debt settlement and you're working at home on the phone yeah you can make twenty thirty forty fifty thousand a month if that's what you you do talking people and do it the reality is you could just do credit pair and we could wipe it all off and save you tons of money even when you do debt settlement, it's going to show up on your credit report as settled for less. So at no point, even if you buy the debt or sell the debt, you can't even buy the debt in one increment. You'd have to buy a portfolio. So even if you bought into this bullshit story of, oh, buy a zombie debt and all this stuff, you can't buy individual debt here and here and then change it and make it positive and eliminate the negative past history. That doesn't work. This is all misconception. So... Whoever saw that, I mean, I would ignore it because they have the wrong definition and the wrong idea and they're not even presenting it in the right aspect and it isn't possible to do it the way they're talking about it. So it's another waste of time and a waste of your money going nowhere. Plus, it doesn't build your credit up. 
so you're really screwed next one is business credit cards okay yes I can get business credit card funding from a hundred well actually up to eight hundred thousand everybody on the internet says they get business credit cards the most ever, they say up to two hundred fifty thousand but I guarantee 99% of the people they ever get is like terrible money and when you're doing business credit card the size of your personal credit cards matter and the amount of inquiries and the sequ sequence you get them in and where you get them and how everything lands on the credit profile so if you're building business credit and you're doing business credit cards you would want to hire me because if you go my route I can get up to 800,000 because everything matters and it's strategically done and set up and everything's done with a reason and a purpose and a path and other people are well like they're, they're copying off the information I put out here on building your personal credit so even if uh, the people that have started doing this they don't even know what they're doing because they've copied off my information and then trying to mass sell it like they actually know what they're doing when I'm older than everybody that's the most everybody that's even advertising stuff they weren't even born but if you're gonna do that you're gonna have a bunch of small credit cards on your personal or medium size and then you go for your business credit you're going to get a get like that's why they say up to 250,000 they most 99% of the time they lucky if they even get a hundred thousand and then it's a bunch of chump and the way it's chopped up it's garbage plus they capitalizing on the fact that you get the zero percent interest rate for whatever how many days but all these guys don't have real businesses to back it up so I don't know how many of them come to me after they get into the high interest rate period and they've ran up the credit card debt and they have no way to pay it back because they have no clue about what businesses get in and their business model is hell we can get you into crypto or we can get you into trucking and both are absolutely the worst most terrible investments on the planet cryptos retarded it's going down it's not help it's not going anywhere uh yeah so what the federal reserve probably going to go digital but your normal crypto and bitcoin and all that stuff it, that's going to tank and it's a big waste of money to worthless worthless place to put your money trucking to get into trucking is purely suicide you might as well jump into a pool of piranhas and you're going to be better off because if you haven't been in trucking for 30 years and even if you've been in 30 years you're still screwed because you got the gas prices you got anywhere from uh 60 to 90 days of being paid out and you have hours and hours before pickup you have hours and hours before drop off it's over regulated insurance i could tell you nightmares trucking company i had one sold it made money would never go back into it although you can get into buying and selling or buying freight forwarding and things like that and brokering the freight forwarding get the license do all this stuff if you're right training you're the right guys on the phone you have the right knowledge yes you can make money on it but you don't need the trucks and going all that stuff if you were to do like um the only thing really actually decent would be like fedex routes and things like buying and selling the routes or having the routes that are pretty much on autopilot with least brand new trucks and not all the other nightmare but if you're talking about 54 footers or box trucks and any other avenue in trucking I would avoid it 100% it's not a good industry so other companies saying business credit cards and their model help learn how to make money and pay it back of these retarded models is just retarded I don't see anybody out there thinking good business models much for getting things paid back but the point is if you're doing business credit cards you want to get the maximum funding on your business the way it can be so that requires a lot of things the way it's set up that's why you want to go with me now you, it's two paths if you go on business credit cards you gotta go down that path it's gonna stay down that path because you can't really go from business credit card path it's completely a, a fork in the road you cannot switch over to business loans and lines of credit and get one to three million dollars like mine because that's a whole nother path and it's contradictory business credit cards on the realm of business lines and loans shows a lack of management skills lack of intelligence and high risk and you're in the category of like d type credit and you're never going to get into the large credit lines and loans unless you maybe i mean if you have secured house or something like that you got to put up the credit 
so it's like a one-to-one -one ratio on the funding so it's a, it's a contradictory fat path you can only go two ways if some people only want to get credit cards and that's it and that's all they want to do on that line that path then yeah you can contact me we can go that path but you don't want to go that way on credit repair yeah i charge funding i charge a retainer up front on personal now if your score is a 700 i'll tell you the ratios and everything if you're going to get 50 percent 80 percent 90 percent chances of approval 95 percent chances since something goes wrong like you got too many inquiries or whatever you got extended fraud alert or whatever's got to come off we'll go back fix it then we pick up where we left off the point is if you're wanting to get real maximum money on that path i put all this information out here but i don't every personal file has some intricacies and differences on it so the sooner you hire me if it's at credit repair or at the funding stage you're going to want to hire me sooner than later because when I look at your file and it, you go in and to do all the primaries that I put on the internet for free to tell you to put onto your file, there's actually more to it than that. That's why I leave out this information. So when I go to funding, like on corporate or when I do funding on personal, I take everybody on different path, but I keep it on a very simple, low-level path to really see who I can trust and who I can't. So the people that I trust, after we go the first place or two, then I throw down and I show more and more information. So I don't give all the best of the best information to get the maximum and the maximum. I get you the maximum for that level. The longer I'm with somebody, the more I trust them, the higher and the more money I get them. But your first people, when you contact me, I'm going to go through a trust phase to see where you're at if you're going to just get one thing and disappear and be stupid and i know i didn't help you i helped you for the most i can for that level i got you that level and instead of getting you onto the further levels you shot yourself in the foot that's the way it is on personal and business because it's a process and it takes some steps but if you do the steps right and everything in order you're going to get the most money and that's why mine get one to three million and i guarantee it i could show it to your face in your bank account that's round one then round two round three it keeps going up exponentially i don't i have plenty of proof i got more proof than everybody on the internet i don't keep up i could put proof on this thing all the time constantly update 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 but it's too much and i don't really like going overboard and extreme already have enough to prove it that no one can even keep up with what I have because that's just the way it is so if you're smart and you want to get into the most maximum of money the best thing is you're gonna hire the smartest person because you don't want to end up getting the wrong moves in the wrong path and going down and the more longer I'm with somebody the more money I get them on a higher level but I never give everybody the best of the best information in the very beginning because if they're just an idiot and I just find out they're an idiot it's like you're hanging out with somebody and you drop a hundred bucks on your car floor or whatever you just want to see if they pick it up or they steal it you know you're gonna test them they give it back to you hey you could test the guy if you never they just take the money like you just are dumb and then you get rid of them or just other things I'm smart about who I work with and I only want to keep key people around so I can get them funding and keep going all the way with it because the level I get people at if they're losers or they don't make the payments and things go wrong um, I don't want those skeletons in my closet so when you're getting one to three million dollars or you're getting large commercial stuff and you get a lot of cash back all these things have consequences because you don't make the payments that's why I only want key people I don't need everybody just the key people so let's go to the next topic business trade lines business trade lines the banks have already seen all the business trade lines out there because everybody puts on that does have business trade lines that show up are pretty universal i mean if they do show up most of them don't show up and they're on obscure retarded business credit bureaus there's like 12 business credit bureaus technically yes there's nine good ones i could fund on all nine of them individually at a time but in order to get the maximum amount of money you're going to want to have the absolute best file and you're not going to want to have a bunch of trash that 
the lenders seen a thousand times because when they do have a business trade line that does show up if it does most of them don't show up they just take the money and disappear or they show up so sporadically that you're wasting your money you may waste your time and then people get ripped off and then they give everybody a call on the internet and they say oh this guy took all my money for business trade lines you know never got any money well they just point blank say business trade lines just to get you to buy the corp and they don't even actually produce anything so you you waste your time and your money and even if they did show up your personal credit still matters no matter what these idiots tell you when you have your business trade lines and you have bad credit yes it don't matter how good your business trade lines are with your shitty credit personal because they tell you it doesn't matter but it does so when you see you know whatever hardcore business credit that even if it did show up and you go to the bank and you got shitty personal credit the first thing a corporate underwriter is going to look at is like why is your shitty credit on your person why is your credit on your personal so crappy um giant red flag and if it was average if it's average but you got super big business credit which will never happen because they can't even produce normal business trade lines it's totally contradictory if you actually had the best of both worlds and you had somebody with business trade lines and business personal well those business trade lines they hand them out all over the place like um like crack mcdonald stuff when it, if and when it would would post so they've already seen it a thousand times on all these other files with shitty credit shitty credit stolen corporations dissolved corporations and they've already flagged it on their end so they're like up oh, we got another idiot with one of these tells them you're buying corporations and you're buying fake trade lines and they already see it and they already know you're taking the cheap skate route and you're a liability because you're the type that would not pay the money back business underwriters are the smartest underwriters smarter than your mortgage underwriters and they've seen every trick in the book these people don't know this every time i put a video up or any information i put about business trade lines or funding and all this stuff they always throw it in their gay little programs where they, they still can't figure it out because i'm only telling you the beginning levels i've just been doing this so so many years that when you get into the high levels and you get into a person that, that I keep funding every level, every level, and you keep going, I keep, there's more information behind all this stuff, but I can't get the normal person, because the most people are dumb, but if I have a normal person with a brain, I can get them all the way to the next no, next levels, but the normal person is wanting the quick, fast, do-it-yourself, idiot level, loser mentality, and get no funding because they think like they're going to do their own heart surgery or their own cancer surgery or whatever of course cancer is a scam and that's a lie it's all mold and it's been cured a long time ago but they just listen to stupid kool-aid and they will just buy whatever they can get and they will try and do it on their own hey some thanks man if you want to do it on your own you should do it for like 30 years and that's all you do and you get good at it but if you're just doing it and you don't know what you're doing and you're guessing and there's a lot of factors that have to all line up to get a lot of money, then you're losing your time, your money, and the exponential results that you could be getting. All right. So that's the real key to hiring the best person because when you hire the best of every single angle, you have the best of everything, you get the most value and you get unlimited amount of opportunities that can, uh, can be seen from it. Okay, anyways, misconception number five. Some people say, um, I don't want to add all your trade lines and primaries and stuff because they say it's too much debt. Well, that confusion is because they say too much debt. They're thinking of like the UCC1 filings, are probably too many of those showing up. Or are they thinking of, I don't know, they're getting misconstrued. If you have the right kind of debt with the right DTIs, you can get a lot of things can add up to get a lot of funding debt primaries dti's everything matters everything matters nobody gets it because there's so many levels to getting funding everybody takes like the limited information and then they throw in the idea and the guess and they guess and they guess they don't even know it um i've got funding for people at the federal reserve and the senate banking committee i've done 
things for them for uh, I did it for a period of like three years and I've funded all groups of people from all these people places and stuff I've done more funding than probably and the most amount of funding so if you really want to get the most out of what you can get out of your file and get as far as you can you should save your time and go to the right place so now too much debt there's uh you get too much of the wrong kind of debt but you can get a ton of debt and keep building it and a ton of credit if you do it right six um cpns and business credit everybody says oh buy our cpn program and get business credit well the problem is with that is the cpn you still have to have large accounts on the cpn if you're going to build the cpn you would need a car and other large accounts. If you're building that, you just wasted it where you could have been building your personal. So you'd want to do your personal. But on top of that, the CPN merges with your social security number and it happens all the time over time. Because the minute there you either go the same place you were at before, which could be could be an issue, or the addresses merge and then it messes up your CPN with the social security number because the social security number is bad or the CPN's good and then turns bad then mess up social, social security number on top of all that you have the issue of business credit needs more docs than any, any other type of funding which means driver's license social security number and you're dealing with CPN and other other documents so that that in itself also eliminates how much money you would be getting on the CPN, as well as if you're going to all these business credit places, if you did it right and you overlapped in the places that you could have went, you screwed yourself like times ten. Now, CPNs used to work back in the day when primary trade lines posted, and that was probably like eight years ago, seven years ago. Primary trade lines, age primary trade lines used to actually work but now that they do the site visit and a thousand minimum upload and then the bureaus actually call everyone on the list because you have to have a trial list and they can't handle the lie because everybody in that list was told to lie and say whatever it, it never works that's why they never fail oh but people post and they yell at me oh so and so's primaries are posting yeah what one one bureau out of three and one person out of a hundred dude that's not posting and you're getting paid for all that no, I, I want to say a customer right there, but I'm not. So, age primary trade lines, especially autos and all that stuff, you're wasting your money, you waste your time. And if there was 1% person of all that did was a actually honest, you'd say live login proof before and after, and they won't. They won't. They'll never do it because they're lying and they know it. They want to take your money and you're just getting screwed. Now, Maybe there's people out there selling CPNs with business credit because they don't know the whole thing and maybe they're honest and they're good people and they don't know that it's bad, it doesn't really work and they, they, they don't have bad intention. But as far as you're concerned, that's not your problem. Your problem is you got to worry about your money, getting the most amount of funding and not wasting time. So maybe they're a good person, they're selling you something they don't know about. I would just save your time and money and not do it because it's not going to add up good for you. Now, that covers uh, pretty much a lot of the mistakes and the myths about the real reality. I would just cut, touch base on what we did went over, like the UCC one. Um, if you're doing the bank statement stuff. One to three or four or five of them. I mean, you could possibly get three or four bank statement loans prior to UCC1 showing up. I mean, but they do show up pretty quickly. A lot of them will notice the inquiries and still know that you already did that, but you can still stack them up one to three, four levels deep. It's very dangerous if you're in high, high cash flow business and you really up against the wall and you need cash. Yeah, it could be done. I could get you the best. Of the worst, I usually don't do that for clients because most of my clients are smarter than that normally. And the ones that push push that and sell that are always the ones um, they always end up going with because 
my clients, normal clients, well, they like to go with the other ones because they, they just go with the people that lie and tell them whatever they want to hear. So they don't really tell the truth. So yeah, 35% is the start. Now, some of them end up like 60% per day. So it's not a good way to be in business because your overhead is so high. And you're only talking maximum terms a year and a half. Most terms are like a year or shorter. So it's a super high daily payment. And it's very dangerous on a daily pay to put your bank account at risk because if you got three, four, five of them, miss one payment because uh, somebody writes a hot check or you just made a mistake, then then it all topples down. Zombie debt went over that, how it's uh, a bunch of fake collection accounts cannot be changed. It will never change to positive into your name, no matter who buys it or whatever. It's always, we'll say, at best, settled for less if it's the original owner. If it's somebody else, it's not going to get changed in anybody's name, no matter who pays it off. Business credit cards, well, that's retarded because they're getting small amount of business credit cards and it's not going anywhere and it's defeating the purpose of getting real money. If you had to do that, you'd want to go with me and I got you the maximum amount and you have maximum amount. We'd have to have your personal built up. I will take funding on a retainer on that and it'll do the path, but it, there's some steps we'd have to do to get the maximum amount of business credit, but I guarantee I could out fund every single person out there on credit cards lines loans and everything like that business trade lines i would just throw that whole idea in the trash because you're adding up you're asking for trouble too much debt that's just a misconception cpn and business credit well the only thing good with the cpn a cpn would be good for if you got some kind of criminal history and you're trying to get an apartment other than that and that's not good because you really need to get, if you have some criminal crap, you should just get your life straightened out and solve all your problems and stick on your social security card and you won't have a lot of headache. But that's the only scenario a CPN might might be good, maybe. I don't know. I would still say it's, I mean, it's good. It would be good for an apartment under that condition, but for building up your you want to get your social security number done because you get millions of dollars on it versus CPN. You don't have all documents. And even if you had all documents, everything lined up on a CPN, the maximum amount of funding on a CPN is still limited because of all the issues with it. And it will never produce the results of a real social security number. Anyhow, CPN business credit doesn't really add up to anything. So, that covers that. So now, let's talk about corporations. If you want to talk about corporations, I have corporations that have never been stolen, never been dissolved, and if you want to buy a corporation, you want to hire me to get your business credit cards, you want me to get you into the big money, I would point blank say, you don't have to buy a corporation, which, when I tell people the truth, you don't really need to get the corporation until later after I've gotten you funding. But, there is an advantage if you buy it early, you know, you could get tax benefits, all these other things, and... Mine aren't stolen. They're not dissolved. My pricing is better. Actually, better pricing than when I'm listed. And you'd want to go with me. Um, everybody likes to go with the packages where they say they got this and that and all this stuff. Well, a lot of that throw in the sink and everything else is because they got to sell you on the idea of things. But the reality is they can't stand on their own and get maximum funding because this is why they don't prove any maximum funding they don't show it because they can't get crap <laughs> so if they trick you into like this you know this facade or this oasis of what it really is then and they mass market it then they can sell it anyway i'll be honest i'll get you personal funding then get you money then you want to go in the corporation we could do that now, if you want to go into business, you want to get your commercial real estate, or you're buying the autos, or you're going to get into these other businesses that I have, or real businesses, and you want to do the corporation right early, sure, we could do that. I mean, I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out. But I'm not going to throw out just stuff to sell to sell. So, like I was saying, mine could go public or do other things that those can't because... Mine haven't been dissolved and not stolen. The no PG route, like I said, we could do the bank statements and stuff. But even then, you want to have 
the right amount of cash flow, the right amount of deposits, the smaller and the more units, increments of deposits are better. You cannot, you can't have any, you can't have any insufficient funds because that's going to ruin your qualifications. Now, if you want to stack them, we could stack them. But I would advise you that if you're doing that and your credit's bad, that you get me on your credit repair and get it fixed as fast as possible so I can get you in and out of that scenario as fast as possible. Because you're not going to want to just have bad credit and stick with your no PG funding and have it have an issue where you get an overdraft or something and then cause default on all of them, which is a big problem. Personal funding, corporate funding, I fund it like four times a year, every three months. And like I said, the corporations are like second to none. Um, uh, autos, which are really good. You're getting these type of vehicles for like 2500 3200 Um it's a fantastic way to make a lot of money. If you want to get into that, that's a great thing, especially because autos are going up. It's a great way to beat inflation. And also, right now, the commercial real estate is super hot. If you want to get in commercial real estate, you should give me a call because I get you cash out. So you get paid per deal. Once you get funding on every single deal, you're getting paid to buy commercial real estate. And I'm teaching you the insider information on how to buy one to five million to 20 to 100 million and the information that the elite use to make a lot of money now a lot of people out there sell commercial information like a general info but nobody tells you how to fund these things get cash out and fund it without having to say you're going to go get money from your mom or all these things i'm the only one that teaches this stuff and my teaching is like second to none and everybody has been through that I've hired that have hired me has been through all these other courses always say that mine is better than everybody else's by far so you're wanting to get the best commercial real estate education and for next year have a great year in commercial real estate and make a lot of money instead of letting this inflation eat up everybody's money this would be a great time for you to give me a call and to get in commercial real estate because I'm not talking about only return on investment of two to four times for like the investors side of things which only put in all alive two to four things of what passive investing I'm talking about two to four times the amount of money as the entire property nobody teaches that nobody even does that but me and I'm teaching you how to get into retail properties motels hotels portfolios and everything and the business aspect of it retail industry is such big money right now because you have such giant cash flow and you're getting cash flow out up front on all these deals nobody teaches any of this stuff because they guess and they're using the idea i'm going off of proven experience i've done this before and i've trained others and i like to train you guys so now's a great time it's beginning to come up on a new year and a lot of like my past videos a lot of your retail properties are crashing and I have the information about how to turn around how to make a retail mall that's in a bad area turn it good and get it cheap and then the absolute newest best luxury brand malls even on those are making huge mistakes and where you can get in on them big money not counting after you've got into one or two of the properties how to get into the development aspect where you're going to develop and renovate or renew your existing apartments or build new apartments and renovate and invigorate your retail malls to where they won't fail. So many major mistakes on all these areas that really once you learn this information just like on the autos and all these other stuff and this other business I have that's about commercial real estate it's such key information that 30 year old companies to 100 year old companies people that have been in this business for um you know 30 to 100 years the way i teach you and the way i show you how to get into these things i and the speed that you can dominate and control and close things you will outdo outperform every company all around and you will make maximum money 
and that goes for same as buying businesses because it's the same principle and the same thing and it overlaps because your retail part of it is all businesses so i have clients that are doing this and buying businesses and getting into other things as well knowledge is key to making big money and then being able to execute so if you have the effort and the drive and you have a past history of success and you're you like to put in some effort I'll teach you how to make the most money you can make but if you're on like this Kool-Aid pipe dream thing where you don't put any effort in it and you just like the idea versus actually owning real businesses and making money then yeah it won't work but all the real money is not on the internet the real money is in the real world getting the real assets and having the real money and now is a great time because everybody in every industry if you're not on your game you don't know the inside information and how to really proliferate with low overhead and exponential profit margin and know what you really know more than other people then all these places are wide open to buy and to get more money it's a great time to get into everything right now to make big money huge so that that counts all the fortune 500 franchises and vendors everything if you're interested you should give me a call um you think i'm fooling you would check capitalcashempire.com for proof venture capital cash or all my proof of credit repair to millionaire.com check that out give me a call at 312-473-4163 thanks for watching my videos i love all my clients everybody's doing great i have a fantastic set of clients and i like key people that are smart that want to do long-term business and make it a win-win for everybody so all right thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later